Cheryl Blackman, yeah. a woman described as a fixture in that community for her personality and charitable contributions. A police escort helped her with family and friends along a very familiar route. 47 ABC's David Caldwell is here live in studio with more on this special woman and this special night. Hey, Emily, uh, thank you very much. Special uh, doesn't really even come close, frankly. There were a lot of people waiting to see Cheryl tonight. As we mentioned last night, her doctors recently determined that there was nothing further they could do in terms of treating her cancer. And so her friends said they wanted to, quote, take her out for a ride with friends. And that's what happened. It just happened to be hundreds of friends and dozens of supporting loving signs and the parade made it into the heart of Rehoboth stopping at the bandstand and bars here and there bars Cheryl has spent a lot of time in raising a lot of money selling raffle tickets among other things in fact hundreds of thousands of dollars for kinfolk which is an organization helping kids in need now the rain today could not dampen spirits as it was abundantly clear how truly and deeply loved Cheryl Blackman is but among all the memories people shared with me I can't tell you how many times the words smile, hug, laugh, and love all came up. It was truly countless. And here's what uh, some folks shared with us. Cheryl is Rehoboth, and she is like a breath of fresh air. Cheryl is probably the most giving person that I've ever met. Cheryl Blackman, we've known her for 10 years, and... Um, she is the greatest little person. She's got her heart as big as the world. She's such a, uh, a symbol of this beautiful, embracing, supportive, diverse little town, you know. And like she said, Cheryl has the biggest heart. You just And smile. <laughs> now, I have to tell you, as the Excellent. parade made its way around, we didn't want to interrupt. Um, so we never spoke to her as it was actually happening. We called her afterward. She and her family invited us into their home as if we were old friends, and Cheryl had this to say about her town. I love them all. I love everybody. And I can't wait to get back out to be with everybody. Where, when you get back out there, where are you going to go? I like bar hopping <laughs> with all my everybody. I just love them all. And just again, very clear that Everyone loves her, too. And I just want to thank Cheryl and her family for inviting us into their home. The last thing Cheryl said as we left was, you're welcome anytime. Emily. All right. Thank you so much, David. 47 ABC's David Caldwell.